Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Mother Warfare commentary and today I want to talk about the Season 5 official trailer. That's right, as you guys may all know by now, especially by the time I upload this video, the Season 5 official trailer was finally revealed to everybody and in case you guys haven't seen it, I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can view it, but I'm also going to be playing it in the background throughout this whole video. All I'm going to say is this trailer was pretty badass. We saw various new things such as a new opera a new weapon, new maps, new interactions, etc. One of the biggest things that we saw was the first scene of the trailer as soon as it began, which was the top of stadium being completely blown off. Now this right here confirms a couple things for us. Number one, we are indeed going to be able to enter, explore, and loot stadium. Number two, we are finally seeing our first huge change on the world of Redansk, and that is the stadium being blown up. And number three, we are most likely not going to see the COD 2020 reveal trailer in the stadium. I mentioned these three things about stadium because I've always wondered, what the stadium look like inside? How big is it? Will we ever be able to explore it? Will it ever open its doors? When are we going to see our very first huge change on the Warzone map? And is stadium only going to be used to showcase huge events like a nuke event? Or only to showcase huge trailers like a reveal trailer for COD 2020? Then we finally got our very first look of the train that's going to be running wild all Oliver Warzone, at least on the train tracks, and oh my goodness guys, this is gonna be fun. Ever since Infinity Ward added a bunch of new train tracks that we have never seen before and didn't even give us a single explanation on why they did that, I already had a feeling that we were going to see a train because, I mean, what else are we gonna see on train tracks besides a train? Oh, it could have just been for decoration on the map. Yeah, I don't think they would add train tracks just to make the map look even cooler. By the looks of it in the trailer, I feel that the train is going to add a lot of momentum in every Warzone match now because let's just say your whole squad is about to die by another team since you guys are low on health low on ammo and all that kind of stuff don't really have many weapons and by some miracle the train is about to come and you guys see it it passes by you guys you get on it and then you get away or if the enemies really want to kill you guys they get on it as well you guys are going to be on the front of the train while the enemies are in the back and you guys have a whole entire fight on the train and Oh man guys, you can see what I mean? Like all these scenarios I'm thinking about in my head are honestly pretty dope. And I already know that we're gonna see many funny moments with that train. People getting ran over or maybe falling off the train. I don't know, things like that. I just <laughs> I cannot wait to see all these fails. Another thing I was able to note about the trains is there are actually tanks and APCs covered up on there. And I don't think we'll be able to use them because APCs and tanks in Warzone would be a little too crazy unless they're balanced out. But... Most likely, they may just be on there as weapons that are being transported, I guess. And of course, we were then shown some multiplayer content. Obviously, Infinity Ward had to put Warzone first because it's their most popular game or Battle Royale right now, so that's pretty obvious, but <laughs> for MP, we are gonna get a couple new maps. We have two new 6v6 maps, which are Sodel Harbor and Petrop Oil Rig. I hope I'm pronouncing them right. And Petrop Oil Rig kind of looks like Wetworks from COD 4 Modern Warfare, but it may not be that map, obviously. I mean, if it was a remastered Wetworks, then they would have just simply named it Wetworks. And then we got one new ground war map, which is Verdansk International Airport. And this is basically the airport from Warzone. So that's pretty cool now as a ground war map. And then we got one new gunfight map, which is Farmland. And Farmland, I'm not sure if this is Farmland from Warzone or a completely new map that we have never seen before, but Whichever one it is, I'm cool with it. We were able to see a new sniper rifle if I'm not mistaken. I mean, there is one scene where you got somebody on top of a building sniping and this sniper does not really look like one of the snipers that we already have in Modern Warfare. It kind of looks like the Barrett 50 cal, so that could be it, guys. We might finally be getting the Barrett 50 cal for Modern Warfare, and that's pretty sick, man. <laughs> I want to see how that one goes on this game. And throughout the whole entire trailer, we can see lots of gameplay inside of the stadium and with the new operator, which I'm not sure what his name is, but this guy is pretty big, and he looks pretty badass. And yeah, that is pretty much the whole entire trailer, or, well, not the whole entire thing. Obviously, there were a couple new things that were also shown in here but these are like the main things that we were able to point out like the new operator the stadium being blown up um the new weapon the new maps all that kind of stuff and also according to the rumors we supposedly have four new weapons coming and those are going to be the an94 the apc9 the r700 and even a new knife a new katana or something like that so 
That's pretty sick, man. Again, this is not confirmed yet, but it has been found in the game files, so I guess you could say it pretty much is going to happen. Honestly, guys, I cannot wait for Season 5 already. Based off of this trailer, I'm already super hyped, and I just want to see what is inside the stadium for myself. I mean, obviously, we're getting some gameplay and we're able to see a little bit but obviously there's a lot more that we cannot see right now and obviously stadium is going to be the new hotspot for a while it's going to be more packed than atlas superstar and boneyard combined most likely we might even get the whole entire lobby there at one point i don't know guys i'm just very happy that we are finally seeing our first huge change on the warzone map because we all thought that the first huge map change was going to be the nuke where you know, we all saw that nuke in Bunker 11 back in Season 3, and then we saw a huge nuke in Bunker 11 as tall as a skyscraper. We all thought, you know, something big was gonna happen with those nukes, but nothing has so far been um, going on. All I know is that this has got to be the season where we also see the nukes go off, because apparently Season 5 is actually going to be the final season of Modern Warfare, and if that's the case, then we for sure have to see the nukes in this season, because if we don't, then we are probably gonna have to wait until the next COD title releases. But anyways, that is pretty much all I wanted to say, guys. I know this might have been a much shorter video than my other ones, but all I really wanted to talk about was just the trailer, what I thought about it, what we were able to see in it, and just how hyped I am for it already. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time when I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about the Season 5 trailer. Are you guys hyped? Are you guys disappointed? Did you expect a little bit more? Anything, let me know. Again, I am personally very hyped for Season 5, and I cannot wait already, guys. I cannot wait to play some MP on those new maps. And according to the rumors and leaks, we are going to be getting four new weapons as well. So that is always very nice. And for Warzone, I cannot wait to drop into Stadium and explore for myself. Because ever since I started playing Warzone and found out that you couldn't enter the Stadium, I've always been very curious on what it looks like in there, how big is it, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, guys, again, let me know. <laughs> I cannot wait. But for the last time, I'm going to do the back on the grind. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. And... Hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Tuesday, and with all that being said, it's been John, ready to get back on the grind, and waiting for Season 5, and I'm out. Peace!